This is the bubble cursor. The bubble cursor is a special type of area cursors. With the selection area, keeps resizing itself dynamically so that it hits exactly one target at all times. The main advantage of the bubble cursors is that they decrease the navigation and selection times according to Fitts law. The main disadvantage however of the bubble cursor is that it introduces some confusion to the user in crowded areas. That's why my team and I thought of modifying the bubble cursor by introducing a zoom factor into the crowded areas. This zoom has a fisheye-like behavior and it is only engaged on targets that are near the cursor. As you can see, when the cursor approaches a group of targets, they all expand, and when one target expands, it pushes the neighboring targets away from it. Our zooming algorithm had two aspects, target expansion and target displacement. This example shows the cursor pushing another target away from it while the zoom is engaged. In this experiment, the user was presented with these four targets and was asked to select the yellow circle. And each time the user selected the yellow circle, these four targets were repositioned randomly. After each selection, the response time is calculated. And by the end of the experiment, an average response time is calculated for this user. Thank you for watching.